Yeah, that's a great question. I, we've seen tremendous growth in American energy exports as our allies and our partners continue to have that, that demand. Uh, and we've obviously seen some trade flow shifts uh, as a result of the, the sanctions that have been placed on Russian energy. Uh, at the Port of Corpus Christi, we set records yet again in 2022 uh, with both crude oil and liquefied natural gas. You know, this country is now exporting over 10 billion cubic feet a day of natural gas, and certainly uh, on the crude oil, over 3 million barrels a day. 60% of that is moving through the Port of Corpus Christi. But to your question about where do we see things going, uh, certainly with LNG, we can expect continued increase in exports as we see more liquefaction capacity come online. But crude is a different story. We're starting to see, certainly in the tight shale markets, uh, the production of the wells starting to flatten out. So we think there's going to be a, a plateauing on the, uh, on the crude side. Yeah, can you talk to us about that? Because we're getting more information this morning about that, the Permian uh, elsewhere. Where are we seeing volumes start to moderate? Uh, certainly in the Permian Basin, Kelly, uh, we're seeing well yields uh, down uh, fairly significantly. Uh, the, the top production, top producers are, are telling us this week that uh, we can expect a, a plateauing. And they still have capital discipline in terms of their deployment of, of capital. We're not seeing as many new wells being drilled as they're really focused on creating more shareholder value and returning uh, dividends to their shareholders as opposed to putting that capital back to work with new wells. So we certainly think that there is going to be a plateauing, which will likely drive up prices of crude oil. Anything unexpected to you as we move through Sierra Week and you guys all kind of connect the industry dots here, where do you think, uh, based on these conversations and presentations, the market's going to be in three or six months' time? Well, I think in the end, uh, three or six months is not a long time in the energy markets. Uh, so I still think we're going to see continued demand. I still think you're going to see some uh, great financial performance from the traditional energy producers uh, in, the, in the near term. Uh, longer term, though, the big talk this week was really about energy transition. Uh, a lot of talk about hydrogen, a lot of talk about carbon capture and sequestration. Uh, all of our customers have made decarbonization commitments to their shareholders and to society at large. So that's really where we're seeing capital deployment being uh, focused is on some of these new cleaner, greener uh, uh, energy supplies. And the Port of Corpus Christi, we're certainly, with our capital investment program, following suit. That's a great point. And, you know, it's it's gone from being kind of like a joke to something verboten to now almost the feature piece of this whole conference is the energy transition. Uh, how quickly times change. So for if I'm you and I'm the port and I'm you know exporting oil and I'm exporting you know liquefied natural gas and I know we're going to be going through this transition and I know LNG is a bridge fuel, but you know okay fine let's expand the time horizon. Where are you going to be in 10 or 15 years? You know are you shipping um, hydrogen of some kind? Is it carbon capture? I mean what does that look like? Yeah, that, that's, that's a great point, and, and that's where we have to be having that eye towards the future. Uh, we need to continue to protect our current portfolio of our hydrocarbon customers, but they are also going to be leading the effort when it comes to the transition initiatives, and certainly hydrogen seems to be percolating to the top of the discussion, but there's still a lot of research and development that needs to go into this particular sector. So we, we think that uh, a lot of capital is going to be invested in the sector, but I think we also need to manage the market's expectations about when those new cleaner, greener energy feedstocks will be able to reach the market economically, safely, and certainly competitively. Yeah, absolutely. Sean, appreciate you joining us. We'll let you get back to it.